Besides, how many times have I told you to use the back door? Many as you want, I ain't Kim. <laughs> I swear, Rufus, you'll be the death of me yet. Go on into the kitchen and have Mrs. Trent give you a towel. I ain't wet. Quit raining. I know that to dry the axe. Yeah. Okay. If that man had a brain, he'd be dangerous. I hear that. Aren't you finished in here yet? I need to make everything all right. <laughs> Hurry up, girl. I never need you in the kitchen. We know that. Don't, Donald. Ugh, it's cold in here. Someone left the French doors open. I'll close them. <coughs> Just break in those French doors and walk into his room and do who knows what. 
Like, shoot him? <laughs> well, it could happen. It's terrible thought, the idea is. I mean, in his condition, how could he defend himself? I suppose we could sick Nurse Withers on him. That should be enough to find away any intruders. Oh, oh, you're just awful. But you know what? I wouldn't want to tangle with the woman. Now, where does she sleep? In the room beyond the library, so she can hear Mrs. Stockwell when he rings his bell for her in the middle of the night. Now, let's see. I remember correctly. My mom brought me here once when I was a little girl. That room used to be the parlor, and the one beyond it used to be the library. Am I right? That's correct. When Mrs. Stockwell became too ill to go up and down the stairs, the library was converted into a bedroom for him, and Withers took the parlor. So they're the only ones who sleep downstairs? Yes, the servants' quarters are in the attic under the eaves. We have our own staircase from the kitchen. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Uh, well, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I have to interrupt again. <laughs> um, excuse me. That last section of dialogue was very awkward. Um, I suggested to Mr. St. John that it be cut, but he said, uh, what do you want me to do? Put a put a blueprint in the mansion? Cause he was like, oh, I need to put put the image in their mind, you know? And I wasn't cool with that. I said, dude, that's not cool. But he is in the hospital. So loft in one, annoying dude zero. Okay, I just want you to know that I thought that that writing was horrible, and I wanted it to be cut because I hated it. Okay. So, pardon the interruption, ladies. Doing great. Carry on. You know, I just want to let you know that if you do that again, you're going to have to bring that script up here and play Mrs. Trent yourself, okay? That's all I'm saying. Oh, you tempestuous flame. That's what I'm saying. Hey, 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 I don't care if this is a laugh performance. Carry on. Both of them. 
interruption. Oh, it, it, oh yes, uh, nothing, nothing I can't handle. His, his lungs seem to be somewhat congested, so I took him from his bed and sat him back in his wheelchair. He can breathe easier in an upright position. Then I proceeded to give him the injection of steroids to help open his bronchial passages. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where would Uncle Simon be without you? Dead. Without my help, his heart would have stopped beating long ago. Speaking of which, wasn't there something you wished to ask, Miss Withers, Mrs. Starper? Was there? The digitalis. Oh, yes. 